share some more with you about unschooling and peaceful parenting. My husband Joe took the kids grocery shopping so I'd have a little bit of time here to uh, talk to everybody about this. I've had so many emails and an outpouring of support and enthusiasm and encouragement for um, me coming on here and sharing this with you. So it's, it's so, so cool to be able to. It's such an honor to be able to, to be in your living rooms and talking to you right now. So thanks a lot for tuning in. And thanks for uh, trying to learn how to be a better, better parent and to uh, have a happier life together with your kids. So uh, I want to address a few questions that I've gotten recently. A lot of people want to know how to, um, what I mean by authenticity in parenting. And I think, you know, a lot, a lot of us coming to this mindset, a lot of people coming to unschooling aren't mainstream people. They're, they're people that are looking for a happier, uh, more peaceful, more respectful way to live with their children. Now, I think a lot of people do understand the unschooling approach. It's kind of learning authentically. It's uh, learning from life. And I'm seeing the learning and everything. But, you know, parenting is a harder thing to come to sometimes for some people because, you know, uh, uh, most of us know what we don't want to be. We know that we don't want to punish our children in the way that mainstream says we have to. I mean, I think if children learn from modeling, if you notice how most mainstream parenting is, you know, for example, if you look at, like, the nanny shows, Nanny 911 or one of those shows, if you see the sadness and the anger in those kids' eyes and the parents and, and how they're interacting and how they're treating their kids, um, you can see why the kids kind of, it's like the cycle of uh, children just being unhappy and angry because how on earth do we think that we could treat our children like we're being told to by experts and have them come out happy and learn from that? I mean, if children learn from modeling by forcing them in time out and, and telling them they can't get up until we say so, kids aren't learning the lesson that we're trying to get across by doing that at all. They're learning that um, when you're bigger, um, you get what you want by force. That's basically the underlying factor. When you send a child to their room, um, you know, for time out and shut the door and hold the door shut or whatever people are told to do, that's teaching children that power rules. They're not sitting there thinking about, oh, what I, whatever I did wrong, I don't want to do again. They're thinking if their anger is building. Even though you're not letting it come out, it's building, and they're going to be more upset later. So, so what do we do instead? You know, people, if that's all you're ever taught, it's frustrating sometimes for people to not know um, what to do instead of that. Well, you know, just being authentic and interacting on a, on a really normal level instead of, like, going by the script. I think a lot of people, um, you know, coming out of mainstream mindset that want to kind of approach a more peaceful parenting approach will go to websites, they'll read articles, you know, they'll, they'll read about how other people in this realm do it and try to, like, apply that new script. Now, for some people that might work, but I know for a lot of people it just feels just as non-authentic. Now, you can learn the, the basic principles of being kind and respectful and just kind of just be yourself with how you get it across. It, it feels really hard to, like, all of a sudden step into the role of somebody else. Now, there's so many people I admire. There's so many people that I love to read about, but I'm not them. I'm not going to speak like them. And when I try to, it feels frustrating. It feels difficult. So I think by just slothing off all of culture's, you know, armor that they've put between ourselves and our children and, and how we have to interact with them with a script, whether it's a mainstream script or a more peaceful parenting script. You know, the overall tone is uh, this type of parenting mindset is kindness, being kind to your child. How else are we supposed to teach kindness and respect without being kind and respectful to them? So it's actually pretty simple. It's just a matter of, of not doing a lot of things you were doing. So it's not necessarily applying all these new principles, all these new um, methods of getting your child to do what you want. It's not like that. It, it's the total opposite, actually. It's just, what if you were on a deserted island with your child? Would you, you know, be doing time out on a rock? Um, what would you be doing? How would you be interacting? Well, probably pretty authentically. Say your child threw a ball at the other child's head. You know, mainstream parenting today, and it does change from century to century, from culture to culture, you know, how we're going to interact. So say your child threw a ball at the other one's head. Um, you know, mainstream parenting would say, go sit on the naughty step, go sit there. How is that teaching kindness? I mean, I, I understand the whole theory behind it, but it doesn't work. If punishment worked, then kids wouldn't keep doing things wrong, would they, if it worked? They would just work and it would work. So, you know, what's a more authentic way to do it? You know, everyone's going to sound really different with how they interact. You know, I might sound like, hey, Deb, don't throw a ball at her head. What the heck? That hurt her, love. Don't do that. Come here. What's the matter? What happened? Sit down with me. Let's talk about this. Now, that would be my words. That's not going to be my neighbor's words or somebody else's words. You don't have to go by a script. Just go with what feels right. You know, um... And your child will, will learn so much more from that from you, from, than from you doing something that an expert told you you had to do to train them. Just be authentic. Breathe a sigh of relief, everybody. Jeez, I'm just take a deep breath and breathe it out and just be yourself and just interact with your children. That feels really um, natural and authentic. And just be happy. You know, by, by being yourself with how you parent and being who you are all the time, um, gosh, that's modeling for your child to be themselves. Um, I think we really attain to, especially people that want to unschool, 
and want a more peaceful, respectful parenting approach. We're, we're perfectionists, a lot of us. We want to be the perfect parents. We want to do a great job, but we're, we're not perfect. We're human. And by attaining to perfection, it's very frustrating, and that's going to come out in your parenting. So just give yourself permission right now to be yourself and who you are as a parent, okay, while you're learning this. We make mistakes. Sometimes we, we slip up. Sometimes we might swear when we hurt our toe. That's okay. Our child's not going to be scarred from that. They're going to learn that we're human, and sometimes we get upset. But it's all in how we interact with them. Um, we can have a much more peaceful world by being ourselves and, and modeling kindness and respect and uh, just looking at the good in our children instead of always finding and calling them on every single thing they do wrong, almost like training them like... Um, you know, I think there is an epidemic in our culture of children just with low self-esteem and, and, and so forth. And I just think so much of it has to do with the way that we're told to parent them by constantly being on them for the things they're doing wrong instead of finding how great they are. And I don't mean false praise or, or constantly telling, you know, by praising, by trying to get more of that behavior or, or punishing by trying to stop the behavior. Just being authentic and pure, being yourself. If you like something your child does, instead of going, good job, I love that, just be like, oh, that's awesome. Or whatever feels right in your heart. You don't have to be somebody else. You only have to be yourself. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be about it for tonight. Everybody just pulled up. The kids are going to be coming in here with groceries soon. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I can't wait to do my next, my next uh, broadcast. Have a great night. Thanks.